Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Fair here. And today's topic is something I haven't done in a while, and that is Devil Fruit. Now, I'm not going to be talking about the origin because there's literally no information about that, but I think it definitely has some correlations to the Void Sentry. But what we're going to be talking about today is what lies in these fruits. Now, first and foremost, what are Devil Fruits? Now, Devil Fruits are fruits you can find in the One Piece world that has the ability to grant the user a power. Now, before we get onto this video, like the video and subscribe for more content if you're new here now devil fruits are classified in three separate categories paramecia which gives the user all sorts of different abilities then we have zones that gives the user the ability to transform into an animal or a creature and finally the logia class which grants the user the power of the elements which was also stated to be the strongest types of devil fruits you can find while we also knows that devil fruits can be awakened which in return would take the user's ability to the next level which was initially showcased by the jail guards from Impel Down and then by Do Flamingo and Katakuri. And the final thing we know about Devil Fruit is that once a user dies, the ability the user had is then reanimated into another fruit that is relatively close by. Now that wasn't stated but it's an assumption that is highly plausible because when you go back to Punk Hazard, when Smiley died, his fruit was reanimated into one of the apples that was close by. And this is why I'm so fond of the theory that Monet's fruit could have respawned somewhere on the sunny given as they do have tan tangerines on the ship. Plus, it would be great if we actually got someone on the crew with a Logia. Another example would be Ace dying during Marine Ford. We don't exactly know where Doflamingo found Ace's fruit, but given as he was at Marine Ford, I wouldn't be surprised if Doflamingo had a fruit with him at that point in time in case someone with an ability died. Plus, we also know Doflamingo is well versed when it comes to devil fruits, so that could be plausible. Now, in essence, the thing that grants the user the ability is not the fruit itself, but what lies inside of the fruit which is highly hinted to be some form of spirit and when the fruit is ingested the spirit merges with the user and then the user is then granted set abilities what's kind of crazy here is that the fruit is what these quote-unquote devil souls use as a shell perhaps as a medium in order for people to find and eat them, which could be a reference to the Bible with Eve and the apple and how the devil enticed her to eat the fruit, which eventually gave her knowledge, which is a contrast to devil fruits having the ability to grant a person power. And this could also tie into the reason as to why devil fruit users are weakened by seawater. I don't know if you guys have watched Supernatural or any show of that sort that deals with demons and things like that, but what you would notice is that salt is a counteracting measure for evil spirits. Salt throughout history is used as a form of purifier that is used to ward demons and evil spirits, which is commonly used in Shintoism. And so in One Piece, we have the relationship between seawater, which contains a lot of salt, and devil fruit users. So perhaps this is a reference that Oda is trying to emphasize in the story as to why devil fruit users are weakened by seawater. And going back to devil fruits here, one can actually say that these souls have a will and a consciousness of their own because we know that devil fruits can be merged with weapons. And the two examples we have in the series so far is Lasso and Funkfried, which are zone types that were given to inanimate objects, in this case, a gun and a sword, respectively. So technically, what we're seeing here is the spirit in its physical form. Again, which kind of confirms that they do exist, but not in a form that is visible to humans. And this really goes back to Blackbeard's darkness fruit. Now, Blackbeard stated that the Yami Yami no Mi is said to be the most evil amongst all devil fruits. Now, my question here is why is the term evil attached to Blackbeard's devil fruit? Usually, devil fruits are just kind of like, you know, normal. They don't really have any quirks attached to them, apart from the powers that they give the user. But Blackbeard's statement is making it seem like the Yami Yami no Mi has a will of its own and that it's a fruit that is evil by nature, which could tie into devil fruits having other side effects such as changing the user in some way shape or form which then brings me to the shown cases we've seen in the series whereas devil fruit users not having control of their devil fruit could be some form of possession now this was shown by the jail guards in impel down now what we know about these guys is that they are awakened but they don't seem to have any form of control now what people tend to forget is that these people are humans that have zones they're always in their hybrid form, 
they're incapable of speech and are unable to revert back into human form even when defeated. Again, it seems like they're clearly not in control of their bodies, which again could tie into some form of possession as I mentioned before. Maybe the spirit is currently in control of the user. Now what I think happened here is that these guys were forcefully awakened in some way, shape or form. Perhaps through the use of something similar to Chopper's rumble balls, but this clearly backfired on the user. In return, making them lose control of your body, but it comes with the benefits of them having the perks of being awakened. And we also had the case with Chopper, where something similar happens to him in Monster Point pre time skip. And given Crocodile's definition of what awakened zones are capable of, they become stronger, faster, they're a lot more durable, and recover a lot faster. Monster Point Chopper comes really close. He could honestly be awakened or he's shown some progress towards awakening. So there might be a risk when it comes to awakening one's devil fruit. And maybe we might see a glimpse of this with Luffy taking taking his first step into awakening, we might see this in Wano depending on how things go. And given the fact that the Straw Hats are essentially starting a war with the Beast Pirates and uh, Wano, it's only right to say that we're going to have casualties on both sides. Until someone that is very close to Luffy might actually get killed off in this arc, and I'm leaning towards Jinbei. It seems like messing with a Yonko is definitely going to cost you something, just like how Pedro died in Whole Cake Island. And so Jinbei's death is something that could trigger Luffy's awakening, but not controlled, but more so in a state of anger whereas Luffy uses awakening, but he attacks anyone he sees. So that could be something that pushes Luffy towards his first step into awakening, and from that experience, Luffy can learn to control it. It could honestly involve something that is very similar to how Naruto overcame the Nine Tails. Conquering the spirit could be one of the steps necessary to awaken, and given the fact that Luffy has the will of a king, awakening is something that he would definitely overcome. So that's going to be a major power up for Luffy moving forward. And I don't think awakening is this end all be all thing whereas all you need to do is train your fruit to perfection to achieve it, there has to be more, something related specifically to the spirit within the fruit. And when you look at the term awakening, the way I took it is that you're awakening something that was dormant and perhaps that is the spirit within the fruit. And the way Doflamingo talked about it made me think that there's several elements or requirements needed to be an awakened devil fruit user. And it was also stated to be rare by Doflamingo. It might be the same thing as King's Hockey whereas some people cannot achieve awakening even if they try to. It might be a skill given to a select number of individuals because I don't think every devil fruit user has the potential of awakening. And when it comes to Luffy's awakening, I don't think it's going to be anything mind blowing at a base level, but more so what Luffy's creativity can accomplish with it. That's how it's been with Luffy with all his gears for the longest now. It only makes sense that his awakening should follow the same scheme. The true power of Luffy's awakening is going to come from his creativity. But again, there's obviously more to devil fruits other than the fact that they have have the ability to grant a person a power set power i think oda stated in an sps that vegapunk actually knows what devil fruits truly are so that could be something we learn about once the straw hats encounter vegapunk i also think there is some correlations between devil fruits and the void century given as there was a massive war at that time perhaps devil fruits were used as a countermeasure in order for the people to rise against the government this could be something that the great kingdom used as a fail safe to ensure that future generations can retaliate and in the same manner that the Poneglyphs were created in order for the future generation to know what really happened during the Void Century. And then we have the three ancient weapons which is something that the government is also wary about. So it seems like the Great Kingdom had created several fail safes in order to avoid certain things from happening. And Devil Fruits is one part of it. And when it comes to the origin of devil fruits there is one theory that stands out and that is the tree of devil fruits which a lot of people think is currently in possession of the world government and this is why the admirals all have insanely powerful devil fruits but now that devil fruits have started this cycle of reincarnation it's out of the government's control and that's why you're putting a lot of research into making artificial devil fruits now this might be the case but i don't necessarily agree with it but it's still very plausible but that is pretty much it for this video guys how do you guys feel about these souls that exist within devil fruits do you guys think they could have an effect on the user apart from the abilities that they grant comment down below what you guys think like the video if you liked it subscribe for more one piece content on this channel hit the notification bell if you want to get notified for future content it is feral and i will see you folks later peace